Hello, today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you the Dineco Pure One S11. It's a smart vacuum cleaner, smart dust detection, smart suction adjustment, intelligent LED display, smart battery management, smart noise optimization. Ooh. And it is app integration able. The Pew One S11 brings smart sensor technology to a high performance cordless vacuum for a completely new intelligent cleaning experience. Wow! You have a smart section for deeper cleaning with the help of the eye loop dust sensor. The Pew One S11 detects invisible dust, hair, pollen, and dander and adjust the suction power instantly for effortless and convenient cleaning. It's an all-in-one LED display on the top of the device. It comes with an all-in-one LED display and it shows the important cleaning information, including dust amount, malfunction alert and Wi-Fi connection status. Enable us to monitor our cleaning status at a glance. We have a smart battery management. The Pew One can automatically trigger the proper section power as well as detachable 2500 mAh lithium ion batteries. The Pew One attains the longer runtime up to 40 minutes. Perfect for whole house cleaning. And you can additional buy an extra battery because you can remove the battery easily and then replace it with another battery. You have smart app integration. Connect to the Tinico app for a complete and intelligent cleaning experience featuring real-time performance monitoring, cleaning reports, maintenance reminder, tech support and troubleshooting and more and more. And what I'm going to like so much, smart noise optimization. This vacuum is equipped with ultra quiet yet powerful brushless digital motor. Yeah, that's working together with precious air channel designing and unique noise reduction materials, which reduce running noise to as lower as 72 decibel. Wow, this is silent, if it is cleaning. It's just like a whisper without any annoying sounds and friendly to our baby and pets. You have a super strong suction in maximum power. Get up to 130 watt of strong suction in maximum power mode, which is five times than ordinary DC motor or cordless vacuum cleaners. Great for deep, through cleaning of carpets, fabrics, and more. Four stage full sealed filtration system. Fully sealed four stage filtration captures tiny dust particles and produces fresher, cleaner air for our home. And I, that this is awesome. Ignis filter cleaning tool. This is included. The Tyneco Ingenious Filter Cleaning Tour and your suction is maintained and we can get the best cleaning experience possible for longer. Converts to handle in a breeze. The Pool One S11 easily converts to a handled vacuum. Great for reaching corners, cleaning stairs, mattresses, furnitures and more. The mini power brush grabs pet hair and embedded dust with easy. Sleek, crystal clear body, unique and attractive transparent design reveals the quality build of each component. And the wall mount dock for easy recharge and store. Dual charging wall mount, dual because you can install a second battery in it. It holds a vacuum and three accessories on board for easy storage and battery charging. Save our space and keep as home tidy and neat. Awesome thing. 
It's really awesome. Um, the auto suction power is 18 watt up to 130 watt. The noise is 72 decibel. Detachable lithium ion battery, 2500 milliampere hour. If you like, buy more of them. Then you double um, double the power. Not the power, the, the um, if you like more and longer vacuum, then buy another one. Or one is, in, is, is up to running time 10, up to 40 minutes. 40 minutes in minimum mode, of course. 10 minutes if you all um, vacuum the maximum mode it's then it's 10 minutes no but it's 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 clear okay so much power needs so much power and so much energy you have an all-in-one led display you have app integration system you have a filter system hepa e 11 the dust capacity is 0.6 liter you have a switch lock you have a wall mount dock you have an LED soft roller power brush included, flexible long re uh, revive tool, an LED multi-task power brush, a mini power brush, a two-in-one dusting brush, uh, um, a crevice tool, a pre-filter cleaning tool, additional microfilm pre-filter, and a hair cleaning tool. That is all included. And there is more accessories uh, which you can buy. But this is enough for the first step with this awesome vacuum. Smart Vacuum Cleaner Pure One SLM. This is the best vacuum cleaner I ever had before by Tineco. Nice. The digital display on top of your vacuum cleaner. You have the brush roller tangled. This is the left icon. You have the dust monitoring loop. This is the loop LED around the digital display, blue to red according to the dust amount. Then in the center, you have the air channel as blocked information. Then you have an, an Tineco logo on the um, bottom side. You have a dust sensor malfunction displayed on the right side. This is like an O. And of course, Wi-Fi indicator on top of the digital display. And this helps you awesome and easy to operate. To remove the battery, press the battery release button and remove the battery. Easily, as you can see. Only on the right and left side, slide it out. Easy. To replace, slide the battery into the slot at the base of the main body. The battery will collect into position when correctly is fitted. Before the first use, charge the pillions. Okay? Then select an accessory and attach it to the pillions before use. And then pull the trigger to activate the suction. And pull the trigger lock to hold the trigger for continuous power mode. This is really awesome. Keep sharp objects away from the digital display to avoid scratches and scrapes, of course. The appellions will start in auto mode by default. After three seconds, press the auto or max button to switch to max mode and the button lights up. But it's only, it's always intelligent device that will level up or level down a little bit the suction power. The auto mode. The color of dust monitoring loop change according to the amount of dust detected. A red dust monitoring loop indicates more dust is detected, whereas a blue loop indicates less is detected. This mode automatically provides a best cleaning solution. On the back side you can see the first filter. This is the heap filter. Press the HEPAR release button and gently remove for cleaning. Do not use the pillions without first installing the HEPAR filter back. Do not place the pillions as um, removing and then cleaning. It's not good. It has to be locked in the host. The HEPAR filter can be washed under running water and must be completely dry before reinstalling. About 24 hours 
with sunlight. This is important. Let's go to the second filter. Clean the dust bin and filter after each use. Use the cleaning tool to thoroughly clean the pre-filter when the indicator light shows a blocked air channel. To maintain high performance, wash and dry the pre-filter monthly. Replace it every six months. Wash and dry the HEPA filter every three months, replacing it every 12 months. Press the dust bin release button to remove the dust bin. Clean with a damp cloth, taking care to prevent water entering the pillions, main body and battery. Turn counter clockwise to remove the filter. Then clean the dust bin and mesh filter with a damp cloth. Air dry completely before reinstalling the components. After cleaning, insert the clean pre-filter into the mesh filter properly and it clicks into place. Then install the clean filter and dustbin back into the main body. Then close the dustbin flap. That is how to maintenance your dustbin and filter system. This is the mesh filter, the pre-filter and of course, the HEPA filter is on the backside of the device. Easy going, as you can see. When in auto mode, the runtime is approximately 40 minutes. When the maximum power is used, the runtime is approximately 10 minutes, of course. Estimated runtime data was obtained by Tineco Laboratory using one battery and non-motorized accessories. That means if you use the motorized accessories, it should be a little bit less than 40 minutes. But it's okay. No one needs one hour in one, uh, uh, in one track to vacuum the house. Or I do not do this. A full charge takes approximately three to under four hours for one battery. Um, when in use, the battery indicator has three solid blue lights, that means it's full power. Two solid blue lights, medium power. One solid blue light, low power. And one solid red light, out of power. One blinking red one is full, check the troubleshooting. Then main body indicator, that illuminates it's working on maximum mode. This is a button on top of your device. If it's blinking, you have an engine failure. Then there is an indicator on the display. It is, it is, it looks like a drill, and um, uh, yeah, it looks like a drill. It's bringing the brush roller has a blockage. Then it, um, there is another icon. It looks like an, an sink. This is blinking, and the pillion has a blockage, either in the filter or the dust bin. If you have this circle. Icon, it's blinking the sensor inside the dust bin is obstructed or the um, dust bin is not correctly installed. Then you have a Wi Fi um, LED, that means you have, if it is illuminated, Wi Fi has successfully connected. If this icon is blinking, the Wi Fi is connecting, and if it is off, the Wi Fi is not connected. Okay, then you have to connect it. During charging, the spare battery will only charge when the one when one attached to the main body has been fully charged. Three blue lights blinking successfully, it is charging. One blinking red light, four, four, four. There's some problems. That full charge means all three solid blue lights. After five minutes, the light will go off automatically. Let's talk about the accessories. Full size LED multitask power brush. This is ideal for both hard floors and carpets. Very effective for agitating dirt embedded in the carpet, for example. To clean the brush roller, use a coin or another tool like a screwdriver, but it has to be a flat screwdriver to unlock the brush roller lock. Then remove the brush from the brush window. Then you have to remove the debris wrapped 
around the world with the Tineco hair cleaning tool, which is included into the set. Then gently clean the transparent brush window and after cleaning, reinstall the brush. That is easy to do this in the opposite direction. That means um, attach the brush into the brush roller and lock with a coin or another tool the lock for the roller. Mini power brush. It's little tiny but powerful brush system. Easy to open as you can see. That means press again the roller and cover. Do not. Then pull out the brush roller. Yeah, here we are. Remove the debris wrapped around the roller with the Tinseco hair cleaning tool. Job's done. And then fully reinsert the brush roller at an angle and push upwards until it clicks securely back into place. The mini power brush is for vacuum upholstered furniture, mattresses, etc. Vacuum pet hairs and removes ingrained dirt. Let's go to the next. This is the two-in-one dusting brush. Switch between a wide and a soft brush by pressing the release button. The soft brush is most effective on hard surfaces furniture, while the wide brush is effective for upholstered furniture, curtains, etc. This is a nice little tiny device. Two-in-one dusting brush. The creamy tool for corners, nooks and other hard to reach places such as around car seats, picture frames and cap boards too. It is possible to dock this into your Hoover system easily and then you can start cleaning immediately. So let's go to the pre-filter cleaning tool. This is a dirty filter is a leading cause of suction loss and this device is designed to make our filter last much longer. Place the dirty filter inside the pre-filter cleaning tool and close the lid. Then run the pillions in maximum mode and rotate the slide cover. This is easy and it's convenient and it will clean your dirty filters immediately and this without water this is net this is not um for for all cleaning process of course you have to wash you have to clean your filter um, i think once in half year with water and let it dry for 25 uh, 24 hours and then reinstall it really dirt but this is a good thing to let the power be up with your appellions, with your um, vacuum cleaner. And it's a nice designed awesome device. This is the pre-filter cleaning tool. So let's go to the tiniest mini good awesome hair cleaning tool. Use the end with a small blade to remove hair and debris wrapped around the roller. Use the end with the brush to clean the brush window and the dustbin as required. This is the hair cleaning tool. If you downloaded the Tinico app out of the App Store or the Google Play Store, you are able to connect this device to your new Tineco um, vacuum cleaner. All the functions can be performed using the Tineco app, such as battery status, cleaning reports, etc. You have to download the Tineco app from the App Store and then, let's go, pair the device by using your Bluetooth connection or it is an ad hoc network um, Wi-Fi spot. I think it's, it's, it's not Bluetooth, it is, it is Wi-Fi. And you can see the battery level in real time, the cleaning record 
displays the dashed amount, walking hours and walking status. Then the suction adjustment. When in manual mode, swipe the phone screen to adjust the suction power and reminder of filter status. This records the serity of the dirt filter and provides a cleaning reminder as required. And of course, you can contact the NECO Support Center and you give a feedback by using the app. You can see it's really easy to pair this device each other. Oh, and all it's a super duper awesome device. The product means it's a pure one as 11 series. Voltage is 21.6 voltage. The rated power is 450 watt power. Dustbin capacity is 0.6 liters. The charging time three up to four hours for one battery. The charging input is 100 up to 120 volt. The running time is in automatic mode about 30 minutes. Maximum is um, is there 40 minutes. No, it is uh, possible to get there to install there 2000 milliampere lithium ion batteries or you can use 2500 milliampere hours lithium ion batteries too. Wi-Fi frequency band is 2.4 G and the Wi-Fi maximum output power is 19 decibel. It is oh, so a smart device. It's easy to use and mm, it is really good designed. It is a really smart, awesome vacuum cleaner and it's lightweight. It um, has so much filter built in, which you can change, which you can clean. And it is so silent for a vacuum cleaner. And the power is really good, really good. It's an awesome device, I think, really awesome. When secured on the wall mounted dock, the battery attached to the main body will charge first, followed by the spare battery. It is sold separately for the Pure 1S11 series. Connect adapted to the dock and outlet to charge, secure the main body and or the spare battery on the dock. The battery can be recharged while attached to the main body or separately. Hmm. And it's so easy to remove and it's so easy to attach or reattach this device to the wall uh, to the wall mount awesome awesome device so thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and i hope to see you again on my channel soon soon